everyone, it's the History Nerd, back with some more Crusader Kings 2 action-adventure fun time. Woo! Alright, so, where we last left off, we regained... Excuse me. We regained, um, all the old lands, except for Carton. Left that in the, uh, the capable hands of my youngest brother. And, uh, now, there should be some serious fallout from what we've done, really. Uh, if we take a look at my vassals, I've got a bishop who kind of likes me, and then quite a few who should be pretty close to open rebellion. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. <clears throat> and Blowfly, I'm pretty impressed with how easy it was to get all of these back. I, I thought for sure I was gonna have to do some trickery with spy masters and what have you to uh, to get them back but yeah that that shocked me which makes me think that the game has something planned for me because it shouldn't have been that easy to regain Austria it was so ooh, before I forget let's go get my heir out of prison 10 gold that's what all right. <clears throat> so yeah, so thankfully it was easy, but I have a feeling that uh, it's it's not gonna stay that way. Now let's see if we can actually set him up with a good wife. Find someone German for him. Come on. Man, this must just be thrilling. There we go, okay. Uh, ooh, a Habsburg. Hmm. She's 31, so there won't be too many kids from that, I'm not thinking. Are there any more Habsburgs? Hohenstaufen. That's just a fun name to say. Another Hohenstaufen. Younger. A very young one. That's not that's not gonna be a good idea. Come on, I just want another Habsburg. I guess I mean, the easiest way to go about doing this is is not going through that way. It's just how about this? My prince four. Yeah, she's really the only one. Not worth it. All right then. You <laughs> to completely go back. Uh. Fifty. Uh, he's good at spying. There's a Greek woman. Is he a dwarf? Ah, uh, I could have. I've got half a happy dwarf wedding. Or oh, what does he need the most in stewardship? So, I'd like to find a lustful. Although, this guy is not even actually going to wind up being my heir anyway, so perfect. There we go. Happy days indeed. So yeah, to get back to the comments, um, Blowfly, I'm almost wondering if, since I kind of feel like I'm going to be getting... Yes. A rebellion... I. It might be the better way to do it. And then once I conquer everybody, which I'm sure I will, because I'm amazing and wonderful, right? Um, then... Oh, come on, what are we looking for? Military, I guess. You're Frankish, you're German. Perfect. And you've only got one ward. Even better. Educate... 
That is quite the name. Not even gonna begin to think about how to pronounce that. We'll just go with it. Um, I, yeah, I'm almost wondering if a, if a rebellion is gonna be the best thing for me to, to have. I grow more and more impatient with Chancellor Eric and his... Chancellor Eric. His slothfulness makes him go to extreme lengths to avoid having to do any actual work. He's not even that good of a diplomat, really. I mean, he's the best we have. So we'll give him a stern talk. That usually works with sloth, slothful people. When I had finished talking sternly to Chancellor Eric, I didn't really expect him to talk back. But the anger that filled him fast was vented immediately. I ignored it and left, Ch and left Chancellor Eric barely able to speak because of his anger. Great, so now he doesn't like me. One more to the list of vassals who probably want to see me dead. Um, to celebrate... Let's... Oh, I missed it. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll see if we can remember to hold a summer fair. Uh, Matt! I was once without a cold for a week in 1997. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, I don't know what it is. It's just winter time, everybody huddles together, I think. I don't know. Maybe Canada is just a cesspool for golds. That's entirely possible, too. Uh, personally, I can't wait for EU3 either. Um, I l started a little trainer game to uh, just familiarize myself with the way that, uh, that the game works. I'm not gonna join in. It's very tempting, but I don't need lands in Hungary, damn it! I need to concentrate on Bavaria. Uh, so I started up a, a game, and wow, it's gonna be rough. So any and all advice you can you can possibly offer me would be wonderful, because yeah, it's uh, it's certainly been a while, that's for sure. Uh, no, which one is? So yeah, it is Passau. What can we build here, Passau? Quite a lot, actually. Squire lists is probably a good idea. Or... Mm, yeah, it's probably that first. I really need to build up. Like, if we compare um, Munich here to Vienna, like, Munich's a much, much better city. Which is concerning. I don't like being that far behind. To the magnificent King Ruprecht the First, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. We request that you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms against Duke Leopold the First of Pisa. I mean, Pisa, that that can't. Let's go back to that view. That, that can't be rough at all. It's tiny. Except. See if I even have to go to war. Just a support, a written support, is probably going to be enough. And uh, that, yeah, that um, Austrian Hungary event that's in EU3, that's kind of integral to my plan. Provided I can get a hold of the Kingdom of Bavaria, I mean, uh, provided I can keep the Kingdom of Bavaria and it transfers the way I think it will, then, yeah, my plan is to certainly do my best to incorporate Hungary, because that's going to be important. That's a lot of land. Oh, excellent. That's, that's wonderful news. I guess we're still working away because of that. But we're converting people who are here, which is good. Now that's, of course, provided it works uh, with my modded game. Damn it, I should have clicked on her. Gort. There you go. Who can we marry you off to? 
Ooh. Duke of Thrace? Might not be a bad idea. Oh, uh, I mean, a Baron of Kloppenburg. Kloppenburg is a cool sounding place. I'm sure Malgor Zada here would, would love to see what that has to offer. You know what? A Greek Duke, that's that's a good spot to send one of my many relatives. Thank you. So yeah, provided um, the modded kingdom that I'm going to probably have to make for this to work in EU3. I don't really care about that. Um, provided that event was still fire, then yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Integral. Uh, come again, provided it won't screw up, um, in EU3, it won't, like, it won't screw up the way the Holy Roman Empire works, because I'm not sure if that's just going to automatically be in place if I dismantle it here. I would love to get rid of it. It's damn frustrating. Um, but I would hate to go through all the trouble of getting rid of it here and then loading it up in EU3 and having it return. That would just frustrate the crap out of me. But we'll see. I mean, it's a, it's a good course of action to, to go with to get rid of this stupid Holy Roman Emperor, Empire. And I do believe I can do that through intrigue, or at least get it started through intrigue. In fact, let's take a look at that. Choose a plot. Hmm. No, I can't. Here. I can just nominate somebody. That's not what I'm looking for. But yeah, I'd like to get it. Uh, to get it disbanded, but who really knows? I might have to do that in EU3, in which case I would probably just take it for Austria. You know, the country that deserves it, that historically requires it. And Sir Big BB, you know, elective monarchy is really not a bad idea. If I'm not able to pull off primogenitor, because from, from an RP standpoint, from a role-playing perspective, I really want it to be primogenitor. Um, with elective monarchy, like you say, you can always pick the best ruler. So I, I like having it where it's just, you know, the family line, I get what I get. I like that, and that's the way I like to play the game. But if I have to go with elective monarchy, then I'll just constantly pick my kid. I think that'll be the easiest way to go about it. And uh, basically my plan for the next little bit, I think I say this every two or three episodes and never get around to doing it, but it's to really try and build up my holdings. Because we're not making that much money, and compared to other places, like Salzburg for instance, I'm nowhere near Salzburg's defensive capability. That's insane. Granted, it's a completely different type of holding, but I don't even have any more holdings in Austria, so... Oh, excellent. You're already betrothed. Yes. Oh, good. He's the brother, but he'll still have a claim. Hopefully we can get that. Not that it really matters now that I'm king of Bavaria, because I think I've got a claim on it anyway, but still, it would be nice to get that. Alright, we'll just let this tick by. I'll be back with something more interesting later. One thing I am going to do is change around my techs. I think it might be time to get some castle infrastructure going on. Okay, we've released someone from the dungeon. Um, what have we got going on here? Noble customs. I'm thinking majesty. 
Because prestige is good. Either that or legalism. Ooh, maybe legalism. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then military advances. I think we will go with... Cavalry. Or maybe heavy armor. Yeah, heavy armor. That sounds good to me. Alright, so we'll see how that changes things. Maybe it'll... At the very least, getting better castle infrastructure will, will allow me to upgrade Vienna. Mainly get that large castle city so I can get more money. Uh, you look pretty worthless. We're just going to educate you here. Nope. Uh, I, there we go. Have fun. That's much easier. Oh, she's getting older. Yay. Not not looking good at all. Not looking good at all. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Just a courtier who does want to be married, but kinswoman, kinswoman, sister. Hmm, I wonder if we'd go for that. No, of course not. But there we go. Okay, so we'll arrange that. There we go. Wonderful. See, and now he should he should like me a little more. Right? Right? Come on. I guess we have to wait for the marriage to actually go through. Darn it! Oh well. Such is life. Wonderful. Heavy armor. Yay! It's quick. Is there anything we can build there? Um, probably training grounds is a good idea. Can't believe I haven't built that yet. Alright, back with some more interesting later. Hey, this might be a step in the right direction. Revolt has broken out a new strike. Angered by my oppressive rule, the peasants have taken to arms. How dare they. Woo! Okay. That's a big peasant army. And it looks like Bavaria's got itself involved in a little regional war going into freaking Nuremberg there. Alright. So, let's go ahead. Raise. 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 probably require some mercenaries for this. Or raise up my vassals. I'm not sure which is the better route to go. I guess if I want to encourage a rebellion, raising my vassals military probably isn't a bad idea. I'm not sure that's really the route I want to go just yet. Should move them over at the same time. I mean, that's really not much of a military. And already people are pissed off. I don't know why. I mean, they just, they got into position. That's about all they did. Huh. Just in case, there we go. So at least the Bavarian army, despite being involved in a war in Nuremberg, is, is willing to hand over... Oh man, that's a useful military to have right there. This should be able to... put down the Peasant Revolt, no problem. Um, What's your plot? 
I have no idea who that is. Probably someone I've married, so... We're gonna try and imprison her. There we go. That's what you get for coming to town and trying to kill someone. Come on, I really don't need them. I don't know why I'm waiting. You guys can, can go home. You definitely won't be needed. Alright, slaughter them all! Slaughter them all! And they're gone. Excellent! Glory to us! Let's see what we can do about you. Uh... Alright, nobody to ransom her to, so she'll just stick in the prison. Back with something more interesting. To the most excellent King Ruprex the First, may you live in harmony and contentment. We would like to appoint you to Spy Master. What do you say? I say I accept. That's an amazing position to be in. It justified, but na wow, now we gotta take a look at intrigues. Should we start a faction to put me on the throne? Hmm. I wonder if we'd even have enough support for that. We'll just let that roll out, keep that in the back of my mind that I am indeed... the um, the spy master and let's go ahead and complete this marriage even though she's she's a bit of an idiot it'll it'll be interesting to say the least all right uh, we'll take the prestige gold doesn't really matter thank you do anything here yet still upgrading to the training grounds Uh, ooh. Is that, yeah. We definitely need to upgrade that. There we go. Have I got enough to do Znoimo as well? No. Alright. My liege, it is most unfortunate that you happen to hold a title that all agree should rightfully be mine. In order to lift this dark cloud from our relations, may I suggest adjustment? Your vassal Count Ludwig. What do you want? Um, you're, you're just, you're pretty greedy. Pretty greedy. Just make do with what you have. It's better that way. Excellent! We shall have a proper heir soon and not my brother. An important guest arrived today and was most insulted when I, struck with tongue-tiedness, was unable to greet him. Oh, the shame! The shame! Oh, the shame! I wonder who the important guest was. Oh, dear King Ruprecht the First of Bavaria, I hereby invite you to the Grand Feast in Ghent. Your presence at the feast would be greatly appreciated, and I look forward to your attendance, Kaiser Martin the First. Well, let's go. Feast with the Kaiser sounds lovely, and I've completely forgotten about the summer fair I was going to hold. This year, 1259, we shall have them. A rather nettlesome neighbor keeps sending me envoys begging for money or demanding tribute. I feel rather confused about his arbitrary ways, and I'm not sure what I should do. 
and send them roses. Or nail the envoys' hats to their head. Hmm. Let's take a look at some of these traits. Elusive Shadow, Shy, Proud, Greedy, Cruel. He is cruel. And nailing hats to heads is a pretty cool thing. Kaiser Martin the first greeted us warmly to his feast. Wine was served in the most delicious sense came from the kitchen. Thank you for having us, good sir. It, the feast is over and it's time to go home. It was a fairly quick feast. And uh, nothing nothing important happened. Bit of a letdown. Holding a summer fair. I've given the order that a summer fair should be held in Ustarak this summer. This should make the peasants happy. Ah, Emma. She can't inherit. That's a shame. The jester who performed during the summer fair ran around in his silly hat with bells, and before I knew it, he hit me with his bauble. Everyone laughed at this and his jokes, rather as insults. Mm. Yeah, I don't don't really need to risk the revolt. He can be cruel but lighthearted. The summer fair's archery contest went very well. The clout in the space around it was filled with arrows. Some of them had hit the bullseye, some of them had missed the clout altogether. The winner was a modest man who disappeared rather quickly after he collected his prize. I am not paranoid. We're not about to arrest him. And, you know, Trebek here, the Bishop of Trebek, should, should probably... I could do with the relations boost. A courier has come forth inviting all knights of the realm to attend a grand tournament, the likes of which we see only once per reign. It's a chance to prove our worth. Alright, well my heir managed to get somebody who'd actually, uh, actually inherit. The peddlers are loading their wares, and the merchants are taking down their stalls. The jugglers, strolling players, and the other entertainers are preparing to leave. The summer fair is over this year. It was great fun while it lasted. And we're almost at 600 prestige. It's a good sign. Absolute crown authority has been approved. I don't think that really affects me much. Nope, just gotta... Ride it all out till I can actually change things. Hmm. Let's see. 19. What's Fritz at? 17. Fritz is the only advisor who likes me. Thankfully, the bishop here does as well. Just not as much. We're gonna give Fritz a chance mull that decision over. Oh. Excellent! These, all these Russian people I'm bringing in are converting. It's, it's great fun. Just want to get it January 1st. There we go. And I think I'm going to leave the video here for today. Save the game. So, thumbs up if you have enjoyed this episode. Uh, leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.